Hello and welcome back to the character modeling tutorial. It is really still here. Nothing has changed. So we said we had to uh, model one more strand and we're going to take care of that now. So, <coughs> um, basically just we just need an extension of this here. Let's start by um, just throwing it in. <coughs> well, my, my voice is really starting to... What do you say, oh god? Anyways, you know what I mean. My voice is cracking, I think that's what the phrase is. Anyways, um, so you created this extension here and I just gave it this um, bag, so it's higher now. It looks like a strand and here I will cut it into two triangles because I want this to continue towards the center uh, but since we don't like triangles for some reason um, we will uh, create a loop cut here to make this one um, a quad and over here we'll figure out something later let's just delete this for now and down here, all we have to do is to select these four and scale them to where we need them. I might just put those below somewhere. That could work. As if they're held in place together with that with that hairpin. So then here's the tip and we are almost done um, last thing I want to do is to make sure that the ending looks good so um, let's just continue extruding this towards here and continue with one more quad um, and here we will just just create the easiest kind of quad that we can think of just because no reason in particular but that looks weird i guess i want to do some changes maybe let's see still thinking um, I guess it's okay. It's not that bad. So one little um, thing that you can do to improve it. I mean, it's not to improve it necessarily, but it sometimes works. Sometimes this good things for you. And I did it already. I uh, I just didn't record it. But it's not a big step, so I'm explaining it. Just select everything and use smooth vertex once and if er anything is really heavily damaged you can then fix it by hand but i did that on both parts and that made it a bit more constantly uh, smooth uh, consistently smooth and that's that was was better so there we go we have now our entire front part done and uh, we can now do something about the back of the head or um these two parts so let's model this here since it looks kind of fun so um i created a new object here and i'm going to use it right away so i'm going to i made sure that it's in the center so if we use the mirror modifier we won't run into trouble and it's mirrored correctly and then we want to start behind behind it and continue what we started above so something like this and all uh, delete only faces so I have still these vertices and I'll give them some shape so select everything and subdivide them 
and give them some sort of shape something like this for example and then you can extrude them downwards and make something out of it let's keep it very low poly for now so that we won't get too confused so as you may have noticed I also gave it a little bit of a spin so it, for me it kind of turns along the way and from this view we might want to just a little bit give it an, a curve and then I will try to figure out a way to close it and I guess we can do it simply by creating some quads um, but one more thing before it is done I guess I want at this point a strand to leave and branch off so I'm going to split this with uh, we again and from here I will start something new yeah just select this entire thing and scale it uh, extrude it downwards and see what happens that can't hurt and I'm kind of happy with this now we're still in 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 the in this um, mode without subdivision surface, so it could be a bit more trouble later on. That's what we'll have to figure out next, whether it works or not with the modifier, because we definitely want it to uh, work because um, we don't know yet whether we'll need smooth faces uh, or not. But I guess we'll need them. You need those often. So here there is still one issue though. Um, we want this to continue a little bit further. So I'm remaking this area. So I'll connect these here and get a quad in here. Do something similar over here. Actually, let's just connect those. I guess we don't need an extra face. So merge them at center. And then... Then let's split this one apart as well. And connect it. And split it. And then fill everything. That looks much better. And probably it will in... Um, with the modifier as well. So let's take a look. Let's add a subdivision surface modifier and see whether we can live with the result or not. So the normals are again incorrect, so we'll select the entire thing and recalculate with Control N. And I'm rather happy with the result. I might want to do a few changes here and there and give it a little bit more volume since we always lose some of it when doing when using this modifier but since we are branching off at this one point uh, it doesn't look that bad it looks like we're actually using the entire volume and not losing it just over here I want to give it a little bit more so I'm selecting these here and moving them away. And also, one last thing, I will go ahead and add a few loop cuts at some places to make things more solid. And that looks good, in my opinion. Now one issue that I see is exactly what I mentioned a few videos ago, maybe it was the last video. We kind of see too much of the face and it gives a wrong impression of 
here I just change the entire look so I really want to try this uh, to cover more of the face so I'm going to yes yeah, so this is going to be a bit of a raw change and what and all the work that we put in already so I'm just to make sure I'm just saving at this point in case I destroy anything and then I'm going to just select oh by the way what's this tip this doesn't look good at all um, fix it quickly such so that it looks better um, what I was going to do was selecting the entire thing with proportion editing and moving it a bit downwards and rotate it a little bit and of course we need to make these hair pins follow so I guess they're placed somewhere around here and really have to concentrate on that one to not mess it, mess it up okay that's good again and looks a bit better so I guess a lot is now depends now on how we're going to continue it since at the moment we still have a, quite a different look f uh, of hair than uh, what we're actually going for so I'm pretty sure that all these raw strands in the back part of the hair will make a huge difference on um, you know how we see the character in the end so we have managed to finish yet another part of the big hair challenge um, but we're making good progress. I think things start to look already better. Let's add a quick special here, <laughs> just to make things a bit more interesting. So we're going to quickly fill, create a chamber inside her head for the eyes. And this is a technique that I figured out a, about a while ago while studying 3D models of some other artists. And it works really great. So what you do is, just create yeah just create this you know what let's just use grid fill for here oh that's the problem we have an not uneven number of vertices so what do we do i guess i won't care at this point let's just have triangles so let's see if grid fill works and might not yeah okay so we'll have to do it by hand let's connect these first now let's connect these ones and then these here and then something like that maybe well it's not like you will see it anyways so basically we have now this chamber here inside and we have here an edge sticks out and we'll make good use of that later on um, it will help us to really get an, a good look of for rendering yeah that's it I guess we made quite some progress and hope you have fun following this tutorial and learn a lot and see you again in the next part have a good day